close to the church. Second day with no shower, but it's all good because it's all part of the adventure. No shower crew! Chilling with the boys. Chilling with the boys. Anyways, besides that, this is going to be probably one of the coolest days ever. Well, I don't know. Maybe it could be. It could end up being one of the coolest days. So, dude, I'm telling you, this ruins church is going to be sick. We are apparently taking horses now up the volcano and going around the rim of it on horses. Like, what? That's going to be a crazy experience. And I'm in Mexico. What is good? Got my extra sleep in tonight. I actually slept really good. That's why I got my energy this time. See, when I get the energy and I and I mean when I get the sleep, I have the energy. I'm ready to go. I'm positive. It's all about that. Oh, I should start vlogging more like this, like you know, straight up with the camera, not like from the side. Why do I always do that? I don't know. What's interesting is that we're gonna be riding this horse for like five hours, and Mike only rode a horse for ten minutes his whole life. I did it once, and only like a month ago, and it was in a, like a training pen, and it was incredibly difficult. You have to go like this to hold on, and I was sore after ten minutes. They were doing five hours of horseback riding. Oh God! Remember back in uh, New Mexico, we rode a horse with that guy, and you know it was amazing time. We rode for a horse for uh, like three and a half hours. They were really well trained horses though, but they taught us how to ride them. So, I think because that knowledge I got from back then in New Mexico, I think I should be okay. I'm a bit nervous, actually, to be riding a horse for five hours. Um, as long as they're well-trained, we should be okay. Good morning. This is my horse. I'm gonna call him, um, well, it kind of looks like a cow, so I guess I'll call him Cow. Yeah. He named them Bean Beans. Yeah, Beans. <laughs> yeah, boy, my horse is named Beans. I like this horse. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Hold steady, Beans. <laughs> beans is a nice guy. Too many YouTube videos have been made. Uh, All right. Um, normally, I would. So normally, I would be holding this rope with two hands because I'd be a little nervous. But I'm doing okay. Unless they start picking up speed, then I'm gonna have to put the camera in my bag but I'm trying to get as much footage as I can. And this horse, I mean, the horse is actually pretty skinny. It should be, should be more fatter. Um, but I ain't gonna say anything. It has nothing to do with me. Llamas, you know, just a nice day out with the boys. Cold one with the boys. <laughs> so you're our friend for the day. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's your name? Benny. 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 Hey, Benny. Volcan Paracutin. Here we are on our way down and on the oh, right. Dead end. <laughs> There's a volcano. Look at the volcano. It looks so sick. <laughs> there she blows. It's starting to rain pretty hard. Damn it. I might have to put my camera away. Uh -oh. Damn, yeah, we're gonna have to take some shelter soon. A lot of, there's a storm out. Oh, the, with the, actually, there's a storm right here going straight. Okay, we can go underneath the church. Yo, it's really pouring, but we're almost there. It's a shelter. I really feel like we're in Lord of the Rings. Here we go, here we go, boy. Woo! <laughs> Peace out, brother! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that was, that was epic, man. We are super close to the church. We're super close to the church. It's gonna be sick when we actually get there, though. The church has like this um, Assassin's Creed look to it. <clears throat> I'm trying to climb to the top and then try to synchronize, if you know what I mean. Safe to say that the rain stopped. Now it's time to go. Okay, time for the history. I've been waiting to speak about this history for a while. So in 1943, there was a farmer 
you know, doing his thing. He noticed there was a crack in his, in his field. Lava started spilling out. Uh, back in the day, no one really knew what was going on. He, uh, he ran back, got his family, got everyone, told the villagers about it. Everyone had to evacuate. Um, then it erupted for the last seven years. It came down and destroyed this whole place. This whole place we're standing in was a city. A city that had over um, 5,000 people that used to live in it. Not a city, a town, my bad, uh, or a village. And so what makes this place even more unique, besides this amazing structure and we're walking all this lava, is that this is the first volcano that they're able to document from the, the start of it and to the finish of it. It actually died seven years after. Now, oh, only three people died in this whole thing and it wasn't even by the, by the volcano, but by the volcano lightning. There's over 400 meters of just lava rock that built up and built up in certain areas. That's pretty much roughly a thousand feet of just extra rock built up. I mean, we're standing over villages. This is, this is just mind blowing, man. Like this is one of the best adventures ever. We've been to a lot of places where everyone had to evacuate for different reasons. Um, fires, radiation, but never one due to a volcano eruption. That's the one for the books. Possibly would be able to go down there if we remove the rocks. Think about how mind blowing this is. This is why I love history. At one time, everybody was here. You wouldn't even believe it now. You're like, whoa, 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 well, this is insane. This is how it looks. Just think about how it used to be when this was all set up nice, when everybody was here at one time, ringing the bells, having fun, eating, laughing, um, praying, all their stuff they were doing. Um, and now look at it now. You go, you go from back in the day till now, like, phew, and now you're here now, and you're like, whoa, like, people used to be here? Like, what? We're gonna attempt to climb to the top of this. We just don't know how we're gonna do it yet. We're gonna figure it out. Uh, someone signed their name on top of there, so there's got to be a way up. Unless this was, unless they had a ladder. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, a key. Some of this is really loose. Uh, so, he took a leap of faith, is what you're saying, and jumped up there. So the last guy who signed his name here, probably the only one. That's why there's only one person who signed their name. <laughs> he jumped off here and hit that pillar, who got up top. The way up doesn't look easy. There's a huge gap, and he's saying you have to jump to this. But that's like instant death if you hit your head on the rocks and yeah. stuff down here. I really want to go up there I, though. I was excited, but now skeptical. This rock is this. This church was built in like 16 something, and it's already you can see clumps that have already fallen off. <laughs> I wouldn't want to jump on and hold on and have one break. I know. The actually the signature says 2002. That's from. Thinking. It is a bit sketchy. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, falling, and you get stitches. You know, it might bleed out. No, you crack your head, you'd be dead. That's well, nothing. Well, that's that's worst case, but he's right. <laughs> crack your head, and you're dead. Work it, man. New solution. We found a better way. Well, we think so. With enough handholds and grips. In there. Do you want me to try? <sighs> All right, it's this. Yeah, can you put your hands under my foot? This one? Yeah. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. hold on. Um, uh, let's try, wait, wait. Yeah, let's try that. Uh. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. Find me, I'll tell you what. Mm. <clears throat> what do you feel? So, momento. I'd say, like, make sure yeah, you're 100%. Okay. He's in. <sighs> <clears> Thank <throat> you.
Oh! Hey! Oh. That was scary. Yeah, no doubt. Okay. Okay, you got it? Dude, I know, my legs are like shaking. <laughs> I don't know how I can do that. <laughs> I've been doing crazy things pretty much my whole life. Um, always life or death situations at times. Some oh, some are crazy, sometimes I get hurt. Sometimes I get hurt, but not enough to die. Sometimes I get super lucky. Um, this is one thing that I know my limits on. It's like the consequence is too worse. The consequence is too much just to get a shot up there. Um, if, if I was able to go to the top of the tower, maybe it'd be worth it. But right now, I'm just looking, I'm like, nah. If I did fall, I'm, I'm probably dead. So I'm just gonna not do it. As much as I would like to, it's just not worth the reward. If the reward was bigger, I'd probably take the reward and go and go further, get the best shots, and live it up. Because you only live once. Um, but that's it's important to know, you know, yourself, your your safety. Like how far could you go? If you're really um, not sure about it, don't do it. A lot of people do uh, crazy things and they just end up dying and then they ruin it for everyone else. And like, let's say someone died off this, you know, then they would be like, okay, no more, no more climbing. You can't do it no more. That, you know, that's something that would happen. So, you know, obviously your life's more important than anything. So just be safe. And yeah, um, I'm smart. I'm tr I'm just knowing that that's not me right there as much as I want to do it. Some days I wake up, I'm like, yo, let's do it. Let's do it. But not all the time. And this ain't one of them. The biggest thing that holds me back from doing so much is actually heights and spiders. Spiders, it's like, I'm starting to like, you know, get better at it and kind of like maybe if I want to do an abandoned mine cave I'll be more lenient on it I'll try to like go through it this time I'm getting better with that heights I am improving from all you know the past two years we've been doing a lot of more things that involves heights but this one is I'm not, I'm not ready for this yet oh I did it ankles good ankles were good holy shit that was super sketchy let's <laughs> that that grab that Holy fuck! Alright, thanks man. Yo, imagine a school field trip here? Well, it just happens. I don't know, I don't know what, I, I can't understand them, but it's still pretty cool. More people have just arrived. We're all just chilling on this cliff right now. Hopefully we don't fall. This field trip showed up and we're taking a group picture. It's pretty amazing. What's up? Look what we just found. It's called the Devil's Den. We're gonna go in there. Seems like it's to be the basement of this little uh, tower. Let's go. I got the flashlight, we're going in. I'm a cave explorer. No, I'm a lava rock church explorer. Dude, that's a decent drop. Okay. Deep. Yeah, yeah, it's deep. Whoa. Check this out, man. Mike, this is awesome. Let me, oh, I gotta hold your camera. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. Whoa, this is super deep. Watch when I turn this light on, dude. I'm about to see some epic. Here it comes. Hit it. Hit the light. Look at that. What is that? It's the entrance or doorway to another room, but. Oh, let me show the camera. Room Cook didn't have a flashlight, apparently. Yeah, oh, you're right. That's why he couldn't see this. This is incredible. So, can we go down? Yeah. Let's do it. So we just came in through this. This doorway. Oh, it's all blocked off by lava rocks. It's, it's like like we're discovering something that no one has seen. <laughs> That's just how I feel in my head. Just this. I can't get over it. So yeah, so yeah, everyone. For those of you who don't know, this is an altar, and we just happen to come in here from right there. I just can't get over it. Time to get out. Well, we've seen the altar in the basement one, and now we just discovered there's a way inside this one. Um, I know for a fact it doesn't bring all the way up there to the top, but I know there's like some sort of spiral staircase in there, Cody said. So we're going in. This might be one of the oldest abandoned churches I have ever even been to in my whole life, if not the oldest. Get that elbow out of here. Is it, is it dark? Man, it's super dark. Hang on. You have a flashlight? No. I have a camera light. 
Hope it works. Is it Dude, working? How deep, how deep does it go? Holy crap! Yo, we're going down. Does it go really deep? Oh my god. Depth. We need more light, we need more light. That's the only light I can do. I got light. You got light too? We have a flashlight? Oh my god. This is way... Fuck, man. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, I don't know if we should. You think we should? I don't know. Dude. Oh. What? What do you see? Spiders. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> god, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Oh man, this, this one moves. Hey, I don't know if we should do this. <laughs> Guys, we are, we are pretty far down. We're like, how deep are we underground right now? Uh, just like, a couple feet. A couple feet? Well, I'm like... Dude, amp it up, bro! <laughs> Saturate, Cody. Yeah. Holy fuck, I can't even see the light anymore. Oh my god. Yo, we gotta go, bro. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. I don't know, man. Wait, so what one was moving? Yo, give me the light. <laughs> what about me, man? Dude, just like, seriously, I can't even see the bottom. Oh my, yeah, it is a bit loose. The floors are getting loose. Oh, wow. Man, if we get trapped down here... So this is the end? There's nothing this else? This is the end. It goes to like a flat area, and it looks like the lava's covered the other other side. Ah, oh, uh, damn. Lava got us again. Alright, this is where I leave you guys. Adios! Yo, dude, that's not funny. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What? Is there something super weird? What? I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know what I mean. It's weird looking. Oh, it's a plastic bag. Oh. I thought it was a skull. Oh. <laughs> Dude, man. I was about to cry right here on camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's time to get back on the horses now. We're time to head to the volcano. All right. It's time to get back on the horses. Oh. We're about to ride to the volcano now. The volcano that did all this damage. We're getting the whole history story on this whole place, man. I'm actually really enjoying today. We're ready, man. It might look easy, but now I think about it since I'm up here, it looks like it's going to be really hard. This is a straight up walk. With thick sand. Yo. That's the hike? Yep. Straight up. The, the clouds are coming. Yeah, this is going to be really hard. I, I feel it. We're climbing up a little bit to this small it's volcano now. You can suck wow. it's hot. super hot. It's like super is it? Hot. Yeah. Coming out of this volcano. Check it out. Holy crap! <laughs> That's so hot! Yo! Smoke from the volcano. Even over there. This is it, everyone! The volcano! This is what erupted that caused San Juan to leave and evacuate. What caused all the lava that we climbed? What caused the whole freaking. Yeah, we made it. All right, well that's it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, share, follow me on my social media. My homies are still down there. Uh, but follow and subscribe to Cody and follow and subscribe to Mike Corey from kick the grind Thank you guys for following me. Thank you guys for watching me and thanks for supporting. It's been a crazy um, Journey since I started my YouTube channel. I, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you guys. So really much appreciated Until next time Which could even be tomorrow because it's almost an everyday kind of vlog maybe every other day We'll see. Thanks for watching one thing for sure, explorers never die. <laughs>